Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I am out at what's known as the Whitewater area where they look for calcite geodes. That term seems strange to me because driving up here and just looking around, so this is the area. I mean, I'm right off the Highway 50. So Grand Junction is just on the other side of that, that rise right there. And you can see the Colorado National Monument. So we're really close. There's just this little access point right here and you just drive right up here. Very easy. Anyway, this right here, this is the Manko Shell. And this looks like the stuff you see north of town where you find the barite and the calcite. If that's the case, these are probably not calcite geodes. It's probably calcite mm, septarians, if you want to call it that. Basically, it's mud. You know, most of these layers out here are, are old mud layers. And you get these sections where you get the, the mud balled up, whether it was because it balled up around a fossil or whatever. And then later on they crack and the Chris calcite can grow into those cracks. And that's usually how septarians form. So I'm guessing that's probably what's going on here just by looking at it. So we'll see. I may be wrong. I'll get up on the hills and look, but I have a feeling calcite geode is probably the wrong term out here. I came out here because I had a couple of subscribers actually mention, hey, this, this area out here, we've heard about it. We wanted to know uh, what's out here. And one person actually, I think, said they came up here and they didn't find any calcite geodes. And well, let's figure that out. Let's solve the mystery and see what's actually out here. Okay, oh, and here's the GPS coordinates to where I parked. But if you want to, you can just park down there if you have a car. But I wouldn't come over here unless you have something with higher clearance. So, yeah, right next to the highway. Okay, let's go ahead and get on up there. All right, I'm up on the hill now, just just up from the vehicle. And immediately, I'm already seeing some calcite. So you can see the calcite on there. Some small crystals. Uh, I can see a brown color to it. It did say that the geodes were a brown calcite. But I can tell you right now, that looks... That looks a heck of a lot more like a septarian piece than it does a, a geode. And I think I saw some more calcite here as well. Yeah, right there. Okay. So, I guess then what you want to do is try and find some good crystals of calcite, which once they get exposed to the surface, they weather very quickly. So, your better calcite is probably going to be stuff you need to dig for. So maybe I'll get up on the top of this and uh, do some digging. So I walked over here to the second hill. So the first hill you can see where people had dug on the top. And here you can see where a lot of people have dug. There's a little bit more exposure here though. So I feel like digging into this one. Oh. Well, there's some better calcite right there. Yeah, some better calcite right there. So yeah, I guess what you'd want to do is just dig into this. See if we can expose a nice vein where it crystallized and get some good good crystals. All right, let's dig. Yeah, I quickly pried up these large loose rocks. Let's see if there's anything on these. All right, I don't see any calcite on this. Or that, okay. So it looks like the veins aren't, aren't really abundant. So I might have to dig a bit before you find a good vein. So I've actually moved a lot of rock. I moved all of the rock out of this here, and I haven't seen any calcite on any of these. That's very interesting. A little bit of gypsum on that one. Selenite. So I wonder, what if the calcite's mostly in the stuff in the very top, and all that's been removed, and so I'm not really finding anything? I don't know. I think I'll go higher up and look around some more. Now this is really weird. It's Jasper. Like a stream pebble. Is there a conglomerate layer further up? I don't know. That's really cool though. I'll, I'll take that home and probably cut it open. Huh. Here's this cut open. Okay. Very nice patterns in there. Looks like it's actually volcanic rock and then some agate in the middle of it. Really not sure how that got there. There's no conglomerate layer up there. There's nothing that this should have come from. I guess maybe a long time ago there's a conglomerate layer and this is one of the few things still left. 
or there was a rock hound that dropped this out of their bag. That's probably more likely. I don't know. Cool though. So out, out in Grand Junction, um, there, there's a higher concentration of like uranium ores and stuff like that. Anytime you see something that looks kind of like that, kind of like a yellowish powderish like stuff, it could just be sulfur, but it could also be carnitite ore, which is one of the ores of uranium out here. So if you do stumble across kind of this yellow powder, don't pick it up, just leave it. It's not gonna really hurt you much from a distance, but just keep in mind you don't wanna pick it up and just kind of avoid it. Well, I made it to the top of the hill. So I'm just parked over there and I see on the far side, look at all those holes people have dug, especially right over there. Look at all that. I, I think I found where people like to go. So we're gonna head over there. Okay, so I was just on that hill over there, parked down there. There's this little wash coming up here. And <laughs> they're not digging for calcite here. They're digging for selenite. Here, let me put the macro lens on so you can see that better. All right, look at that. Look at all those little crystals of selenite all stacked up. That's really cool. It's like a little plate of it. Very fragile. It's just like a thin layer of itself holding it together. All right, well, if you want to collect any of this stuff, you're going to have to find a way to be able to transport it safely. <laughs> okay. All right. So maybe that yellow stuff is sulfur because gypsum, one of the elements that forms in it is sulfur. So maybe all this yellow stuff we're seeing is actually sulfur. Okay. Well, uh, maybe I'll dig in a little bit and see if I can get any nice uh, selenite in here. Okay, just right here on the side, you can see this layer going through here. I just pulled that out. Look at all that selenite. Tiny little fragile crystals of selenite. Cool, you can get these plates here. Now you want to take it very carefully because these things are so fragile. Probably try and remove everything around it. Maybe work out under it and maybe try and pull the whole plate out. I'll give it a shot, see if that'll work. This stuff is really loose. It just comes right apart. That's kind of nice. So yeah, keep in mind the layer's right here. That's what we're trying to get out as much as we can in one piece. Oh, well, there's some more right there. <laughs> That was good though. Well, there's more. Once again, not as good. Yeah. Better one seems to be over here. Yeah, see, look at that. Much better. There's multiple layers of it, just all through. And there you can see there's a layer, and then you can see another layer in there, and then another layer on this side. Cool. Well, it definitely won't run out of gypsum out here. There's definitely plenty of it. All right. <laughs> yeah, look at that thing. It's got a bunch right there. Let's see if we can uncover it. really cool okay I'll show you that close up here it is close up look at that these thin little fragile crystals of selenite everywhere <laughs> it is pretty but it is also very fragile so I'm probably just gonna grab a couple of these because there's no way I can put them in my backpack and they'll survive so probably just like two whatever the two best ones are and see see how they survive the trip back <laughs> I'll test it out. I have lots of selenite in my collection, lots of big crystals, so this isn't that great to me, but for some of you guys, maybe this will be really cool stuff. Okay, right from there, I pulled this thing out, flipped it over, and look at that. This is definitely the best one I've pulled out so far. Look at those thin, long crystals. 
selenite everywhere <laughs> pretty cool okay i'll take that one back with me definitely so the gypsum did make it home just a few pieces fell off here and there and look at that all through there <laughs> i can't really clean it off any more than what it just naturally is Mostly because it would just shatter if I tried to do that. <laughs> oh, but that's really cool. Selenite crystals everywhere. It's windy! Ah. Alright, so I was up there. Now I'm kind of back down in the front area and trying to find the brown calcite. Here's some of it, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, so there's some little crystals there there's the vein of it going through yeah I, I pretty much can call it it's it's veins of calcite it's not calcite geodes it's veins of calcite kind of more in a septarian type formation but you could get really nice veins where when it opens up in a nice spot you could get some really good crystals so that would be neat to try and find a really nice plate of it I've been doing some digging up there so let's head up there you can already see some calcite you know, on lots of these pieces so yeah let's give it a shot so here we can see a good example of one of these so you got all of this mud and rock here and then i think i'm seeing the calcite layers down in here so this is probably what they're chasing so that probably keeps going down um, that might be more work than I'm looking for at this moment, but it looks like if you keep, keep going down, you might be able to find some. And here's a few that they pulled out right here. So yeah, some decent calcite, brown ones. But I've got really good calcites too from other places. So I'll maybe do a little bit of digging, or maybe I'll just keep trying to explore further. So it really is a lot like the barite and calcite north of Grand Junction. So you're trying to find the veins and then you chase them. So there's a vein of calcite going through here. Here it is. There's the calcite on this side. And you're just chasing it looking for one that makes nice crystals. Just found that sitting around. So you can get some really nice calcite crystals. So this, yeah, is definitely the vein, but it's really dirty. So it's hard to see. Those are calcite crystals, but it's just so covered in dirt you don't notice it, so keep that in mind. So I was just on that little hill, and now I'm over here on the next one, and they were really digging into this one. Look at all that calcite, all over the place. So yeah, it's it's really a lot like that, the calcite and the barite that you find north of Grand Junction. You're looking for these veins, like this, and then you chase them. And you just hope it gets to where these open up enough to where you get nice crystals forming. That's what you're going for. I just pulled this rock out of the way and pulled this out of here. Got some calcites right up on the top and there might be more on the other side. I'm actually going to go ahead and spray this off for you guys. We'll see how it looks. There you go. Some of those crystals get fairly clear. Cool. Alright. Let's see if there's more back there. Here's this one washed off. So right here I just pulled these out. Those will look like they'll be probably pretty nice. A few loose crystals like this. But look at this thing. That might be really nice. So let me spray that one off. And look at that. Oh, look at that. Those are nice crystals. Fairly clear. Really cool looking. I'd say that's worth coming out here for. So if you get fortunate enough to dig down into this and find a nice little pocket like this, that's cool. I'm still not going to call the geode though. <laughs> I'm going to call it a bug or septarian. <laughs> Here's this big one all washed off. Wow. Look at that. Okay, calcites might actually get to a decent size. That is a calcite crystal. One of those dragon's tooth they like to call sort of thing. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, they can get pretty big. Here's this single crystal washed off. Oh, the crystal pocket is now gone. So it was right through here. 
and I dug all around and now it's just turned into veins going in each direction and this is what we've managed to uh, get out of it pretty cool so yeah haul these veins to see if they end up in pockets all right now which way am I gonna go hmm maybe I'll try it that way or maybe further down here's this one all washed off Here's this one all washed off. Here's this one washed off. Here's this one washed off. All right, after digging for a while, I just hit more veins. So there's probably more pockets, but I might do that on another time. So yeah, ended up with a good amount here. So we'll pack those up and head on out before the heavy rain gets here. <laughs> and I'm back in my vehicle. That was a good day. Those are some neat stuff. So definitely I think worth coming out here for. So just remember, right here from where I parked, just off the highway here, just coming over this way, just backside of this, that's where all the selenite was. And then here along the front, you can get and these little concretions just kind of going along the front. That's where you find the calcite. And the calcite is veins of it mostly, but if you want to get some good crystals of it, find the good thick veins or a lot of veins, and then just dig through it until maybe you find a pocket. So yeah, pretty cool spot, worth coming out. Um, oh, just a little bit more. So if you're coming on the highway, if you're coming from Grand Junction heading that way, um, there's no left turn, so you have to go down about three quarters of a mile loop back. But yeah, and if you have a car, I would stop it, park it out there. But if you have higher clearance, then come on in here and this is pretty neat. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.